come out here and he's under the bus again. He made me go under here. Just leave me alone under the bus. Grumpy old man. Okay, this just is not fun. There's nothing fun about being under here. There's nothing, everything's dirty. Not like this is a brand new bus out of a factory. It's a mess. It's grimy. Yeah. Mud clawed? Yeah, it's, I want yeah. a hammer. Oh my gosh. A metal one. Whoa, <laughs> that was a satisfying one. <laughs> Man, I got a bad feeling about this right now. Now there's the debris field. Ugh. It's seriously gonna come up like one or two feet short. It's like six inches short. Aww. It's okay, I'm just gonna move it over here. So what's the good fit in here? Right here. Like, it just, just makes it over here. Oh, nice. So. That said, we're not out of the woods yet until we test this thing. Like, I don't know if it was meant to pull this kind of resistance, this that much fluid that far. Oh. So, we don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Moving on to the next task at hand is we have to mount this bad boy. Let's go look inside and see what it's going to take. It's such a cute little puppy. It's going to be awesome, huh? Yeah. I wonder which is the out. Probably have to look in the instructions. Yeah. And they're gonna be in Chinese. Hot air comes out this side. Okay. This is right on the front. So that was handy. That was made for men like you. They know you're never gonna open the manual, so they put it right on the front. <laughs> One fits. Well, you're halfway there. underneath stuff. This is so cool how this is working out. It's the perfect place for one of these heaters to go. So there's the, the big tubes are input, uh, air intake and exhaust and the one next to this one right here, that little tube is fuel input. This is turning out to be easier than I thought it was going to be. We have to have something wrong. Like when is the failure part supposed to happen? Shh. <laughs> Knock on wood, hurry. I mean, it's supposed to happen any second. I'm sure of it. So you're just hooking something onto that little I'm putting the bolts line? that hold it right now. Oh. I'm just doing bolts. Okay, I need one of those little fuel clippies. Oh, sure. But that's on there, so no worries, okay. Okay, now we gotta get the intake and exhaust pipes. This is the air intake pipe right here. That's just uh, some kind of uh, filter. <laughs> How? It won't go on? It's not that it won't go on. It's how do I get a screwdriver in there to possibly tighten that? Oh, I like see that. what you Boy, mean. Boy, that is something. I got it. But we need that angle thing, angle driver. Ready, doctor? Possibly. <laughs> I just don't see this working, man. This is the cute little exhaust pipe. Okay. Oh, it is cute. 
Take a little muffler. Well, it's supposed to have baffles in it. This thing is like, it has, they just have a spring in there. That's funny. If anyone can do it, it's you, Mike Guyver. <laughs> the problem is, I just he's yeah. having to Guyver everything. <laughs> right. It'd be nice if it just went on. Would something just fit for once? Yeah. you're working on your can. Yeah. In the meantime. Like that? I don't know whether to be proud or worried. You hear that clicking? Oh yeah, tap, tap, tap. Yeah. You can see the fuel moving through it? I can see some coming. See the bubbles in the line right now. We're trying to prime it. I'm questioning whether or not it's going to work or not at this point. I don't know. As soon as it gets filled up, we'll turn it on. Did you hear that, Mama Kitty? We're about to turn on the heater. Yay! You want to go in the bus? You would freak out and lose your little kitty mind in there with the motor on. You just turned it on? Yeah. It does this little warm up period. Well, it turned itself off. So, here one. Mon chéri, I love your shape. I love your color. But most of all, I love your electronics and your combustibility. <laughs> Took forever to get all the bubbles out of that line. How did you get the bubbles out? Just let run the pump and run the pump and run the oh, pump. Oh, until, until it finally works itself out. Yeah. That's why we had to turn it off and back on several times. Yeah. I do hear it. Why does it make that funny sound? It just does. Yeah, it's just, it's, I see the smoke coming out in the first fire out there. Oh my gosh. It sounds like it's playing. Warming a, up. It sounds like it's playing a didgeridoo. Right. Oh, I do see. Is yeah, that just. Smoke coming out here too. Is that just from the very first time of using it? I think so. There was quite a bit of smoke outside. It's coming in under the door. Oh my gosh. It's first fire. It's just totally normal. I okay. I feel this. It's warm air. Is it? Yeah. It's just blowing out the front of the bus now. Holy smokes. <laughs> Man, that smoke is like blue. It's so interesting. Well, the good news is blowing hot air though. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's a little too hot to hold your hand there. That little heater is kicking off some serious heat. All right, so that's not gonna move. And bonus, it's not gonna get in the way of the exhaust pipe. Yay! Or interfere with said exhaust pipe that I have lost. Zippity doo da, zippity tie. Okay. It's turning on right now, and there's actually indicators what's going on. So the little blue light flashing here is the fan, and the glow plug is on, so it's heating up the glow plug in there. Oh, that's so and cute. And then as soon as that's done, then down here a little icon comes on, and that's the fuel pump. And the fuel pump is directly controlled by the, um, by the brains inside of this thing, so that it... Uh, uh, pumps just the right amount of fuel to get a nice clean burn. You'll hear it in a second when it turns on because it sounds like a, a rocket or a jet engine starting. So, okay. 
What's that? The fuel pump. Fuel pump. What's cool about these, it only takes a couple seconds for the the warm air to start coming out. Now you hear it. And warm air. Nice. But it's gonna get to the point pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to hold my hand here. Okay, that's enough. That's hot. <laughs> Too hot. <laughs> that's hot. So you're just gonna go for it? Feel pretty comfortable with the yep. saw down there? Here we go with the layers again. Layer one. There it is. You got it? One of two. Now we have to go through this whole process again. Two more holes in the floor of the bus. Oh my gosh. What? You look like a caveman. I am a caveman. Look at your unibrow. <laughs> what is that from? My God. I don't know. It's like something greasy from under the bus. Yeah. Uh, don't even lick those fingers. <laughs> she, go out? she didn't even bat an eye at all this drilling. She's just hanging out here. Yeah. yeah. Mom, a kitty. You have come a long way, haven't you? From when you were too scared to be in the bus. Right. Good job, Mama Kitty. What are you doing, Mama? Oh, Mama Tita, she's brave oh, in the bus weird. now. She's a big cat, so. She's all about the bus now. She's a big girl now. Ooh. So. It's a black hole. <laughs> it is totally a black hole, but it's a very dirty black hole. So we need something to... We need this little guy, little R2. So straight down we have a rather large hex key hole right there. Then we have that thing right there. That's the level sender. That's where your fuel level is calculated. And what we have is this thing. That needs to go in something here. That thing came in the box with our diesel heaters. In fact, if you look over here in the other box, it comes like bent in half like this in the box with the diesel heater. So, what I'm going to do is get a hex key and try to open that. There's a whole drawer full of them in here. It's a pretty big one. Oh, really? Here, let's see. Like this oh, big? Oh, God, it might just be that one. Well, what are the chances? Chances are 100%, actually. Nice. Okay. See, I'm good at, I'm good at finding. You are my finder. I am super finder. So, initially, we tapped the fuel line. So what we're running into when we tap the fuel line, if I run the engine, the engine then sucks gas into the fuel hose. And then if I run the diesel heater, it pumps fuel from that line to the heater. The problem is, is after a while, it starts sucking bubbles. So there is some kind of small air leak in the, ho in the fuel line or something. Somewhere it's getting bubbles into the line and it causes that thing to throw error codes because it's got air in the lines and it causes the uh, the burn to quit. So, what do we do about that? Well, the only thing I can think of that we can do about that is to add a new fuel thing. This goes down to the fuel sump or into the fuel tank and the bottom of the tank there's a little ball down there they call the sump down here right, so all the right fuel ends that. up to the fuel empties into this thing at the very last and then this sucks the fuel out so i don't know what to call this but i'm sure it has some like specific name but it's escaping me so we got to come up with some way of getting this into the tank going down towards that sump 
and then fastening. So I could drill a hole in this and pass this through here and then I could JB weld the hell out of this thing and then screw this back on again on there and then we would have a pretty permanent thing and that would work. I think that's a good way of doing it. Don't See? ask me. <laughs> I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> I'm trusting you on this. I guess what I need to know is like how actually deep this thing is. So, so you know how much to cut off. It's that deep. So it makes sense that this thing is exactly 14 inches deep. So we'll cut off so this is 14 inches. Super finder in action. No. The little red thing, little it's almost square, it's very small. Oh no, I'm not finding it in here. Check in here. Right there. Ah, uh, score! I'm super finder today. You were super finder. You were wearing my cape. I didn't mean and to. And I didn't even know about it. I didn't mean it. to embarrass you. Get in there. This cuts copper and brass much faster than whatever this alloy is. I can tell already. <laughs> Usually when you twist this knob, you can just bite into the stuff. Oh. And this is not, this is turning in very small increments. So it means this metal is harder than copper and huh. well, whatever that's good else. To know. This is it. Yay! Perfect. Perfecto. Too. We can never go back now. You're supposed to be able to like fix fuel tanks and stuff with this stuff, so like I think that's it. We are going to take these and create the split. Because I couldn't find a split. I had to make this. Ta-da! Very clever. Oh, fine. Take that. Show it who's boss, baby. I did. You're stronger than tape. You're the boss of tape. Sometimes Teflon tape is tricky. So I'm using this. Which came with the diesel heater. This stuff came with the diesel heater, yes, and with these little clips here. Yes. I guess I have to go under the stupid bus again, which means I need to change my pants and probably put on a jacket because it's peasing toad. Put you in your cubbies. Just stay in your clothes oh, and put your cubbies on. I forgot about my cubbies. That's perfect yeah. for this job today. I know, huh? All right, all right. Windy and freezy it's and both. dirty. It's all of the above. Yeah. Reach down there and grab it. I can see you touching it. There it is. All right, pull it all the way in. Okay, got it. Pull it in. Oh, all the way? Yeah, that's good right there. Well, the first thing I did was pour diesel on myself. You took a shower today? I did. Not the smell I was hoping for. I guess I just need to sun this stuff. Out the back. Towards where the other diesel heater lives. Which is through the door to the right. Straight on till morning. <laughs> Straight on till toilet. Okay, I could probably grab that now. Try to make make sure I don't pull the that tube little all the way. tube okay. the, the that splitter away before. Okay. 